Welcome back, YouTube. So we're going to progress farther on this uh, lug bicycle frame. Uh, so far, I've got the front triangle all brazed up on us, as we covered in the last couple of videos. Uh, off camera, I uh, brazed the rear dropout. I've got the chain stays brazed in, and I've got the seat stays uh, brazed in as well. These are articulated uh, dropouts, so this piece right here could actually pop right off, and the whole seat stay will come off. Um, I've got my rear wheel fitted up. Um, these are the ones I'm going to be running. They are from uh, Handsome Cycles. Um, I believe they're in Minnesota. Double check. The link will be down in the description anyways. Uh, they are Sun CR18 rims laced to a Novatech hub on Shimano 11 speed. Um, not what I want. I want a Campanella, but I couldn't find anything in a good price point. And unfortunately, this hub is not one of the ones that they have a Camping Yellow free hub for to swap out. So I'll be running Shimano. It's no big deal for a cassette. I'm friction, shi friction shifting anyway. So uh, on the tires, I'm running uh, Challenge Perry Robay Pros 700 by 27s. Um, they're handmade tires. Um, Italian company. I think they're made in Taiwan, though. But by the way, and a goofy ass uh, tube here. I don't know if you can see how long this stem is here. That'll be changed out as soon as the shipment comes for my latex tubes. Anyhow, I've got this all measured out. The chain stays are still full length. I've got it exactly where I want it. Uh, it's about a 17 and a half inch um, length from middle to middle. I've got these measured up. Did a whole bunch of measuring on this, making sure that the chain stay lengths are the same on both sides, that the distance from here to the rim is the same size. I've got all that done. I think it's time to cut out, cut down the chain stays, and braze them in. I'm a little nervous for this about this part because this is the whole. This is going to be one of the hardest parts to get correct, especially without a big expensive jig. I will be making a makeshift jig to hold the chain stays in place while braze. Other options are to do it with the wheel in place, but I don't have any wheels that I don't want to destroy because you can destroy them with the heat. These ones uh, I believe are aluminum. All the other wheels I have in the house are aluminum. If I had a set of steel wheels, maybe I'd do it, but I don't think so. So we'll be taking care of that later as well. So first to measure, uh, first uh, step up, I'm gonna double check all my measurements one more time before I uh, start marking anything and before I disassemble and cut because I don't want to screw this up. First thing I want to check is my chain stays. It's been pretty cool having this uh, square that can slide in and out. I will put this part down onto the chain stay and then put this right up against the uh, rim and then double, I can lock it in place and check the other side and then I know I'm 100% correct. measurement on those chain stays to center the center mark for you as well since I have the tape measure yep 17 and a half or if you want the millimeters it's about 443 444 uh, millimeters so there we go now I'm gonna check this side it's right to that crevice there we are at 371 and 371. All right. That's perfect. Go ahead and mark up our. Actually, I'll go ahead and pull off my seat stays here. Are where I want them, but they got to come off when they come to the braze. So, just had that on with the rubber band. And this is the seat stay with just the uh, chain uh, dropout piece 
braced onto it. It's pretty cool when you're doing the brazing of these or even on the dropouts themselves on the chain stays. I would just held them in the vise straight up like this and then put all the heat right here at the top until it started becoming almost cherry red on there and then putting the silver uh, flux or brazing wire right into here and just watch it disappear up into the seat stays or chain stays whichever one it happened to be then after when I was cleaning it all up I filled up the seat stay with water and then blew on it to make sure that it would pressure test it wasn't leaking of course I get interrupted by my son but that's okay he's cute so before I remove this wheel, I'm going to go ahead and mark inside of this. All right. Well, time to fire up the uh, grinding wheel, get these cut down. I'll get that done, we'll bring you back show you how we did. All right, so I've got the uh, bike all set back up in this uh, makeshift jig. It's just a couple pieces of uh, pre-drilled and slotted uh, angle. Uh, see, it's a 14 gauge slotted angle, one and a half by 48 inches, if you wanna know from Home Depot. Uh, I've got some 3 8 inch uh, threaded rod, I believe that's the right size, uh, just all nutted up, spaced out 130 mil up here for the uh, hub. Got a couple bolts here. C clamps on the seat tube and the head tube. They're the same diameter, so that makes this a little easier to get set up since all of this is kind of getting held together at the same di uh, thickness apart. Um, got this all fluxed and cleaned, ready to be braised. I've shown you guys that in the past, so I'm not going to go ahead and film that. Figure it's going to be the same. I'm going to hold a torch, put some silver solder in there. It's going to hold. <laughs> All right, got the uh, chain stays all cut. Got them back in with the tire. Sorry about the quick movements. I'm actually on my phone instead of my stand. Um, got it all measured back up. Got it looking perfect. Uh, as you can see, I marked it for where I need to have it when I pull it apart to braise. And as you can see down in the bottom bracket, we're all mitered perfectly. All right, so I'm back. I got the uh, chain stays braised on. Put the wheel in there, started using my square and start to measure stuff. And this back chain stay moved on me. I'm gonna show you a clip of that right now. So you see just in there that back chain stay is poking out about one millimeter too far. And now I'm gonna have to rebraze that chain stay. Fun times. So as you saw in that video, maybe the, this back one moved in just about a millimeter. And now it's not centered. That means I'm going to heat this back up, yank that chain stay out, re clean it back up, rebraze it, re uh, and rebraze it, yeah. Um, it sucks, but that's what I'm going to have to do. Unfortunately... This tiny little piece of solder is all I have left. So I'm gonna have to go to the welding store, get some more silver solder and uh, pick it up when I can. Thankfully I live by two welding shops that just closed on the weekends and I drive past one at work like twice a week. So anyways, that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll get this fixed uh, before the next video, and then I'll be working on the seat stays, getting them uh, fitted up with the, uh, we'll cut down and fit it up with their caps, and also brazed onto the dropouts. That sounds like a lot of fun too. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.